Hey guys, if you like my videos, click on subscribe and give me a like. And don't forget the bell so you can get notified of new ones. Hey everybody, how's it going? Dale here. Uh, in this quick little video, I have a brand new Acer Aspire 5 series laptop, the new ones. Um, this, this is the model A515-54. Dash 51 DJ. It's got chips from the factory with 8 gigabytes of DDR4 memory in it. We're going to upgrade that from 8 gigs. We're going to double it to 16 gigabytes. So I'm going to open it up, do that real quick, show you how to do that. Uh, this model has is the Core i5 processor. It's got a full HD 1080p display. It's pretty nice. It's got a back, backlit keyboard. Has a fingerprint sensor here. Comes with a C-type USB port, a couple of high-speed USB ports, HDMI port, Ethernet port, of course your power cord. And over on this side has a USB port and a stereo headphone jack. So it's not, they're nice little laptops. I've, I've done a lot of the i3s and the AMD Ryzen versions of these. Uh, those models, the i3s and the Ryzen's, have four gigabytes of memory on board with one slot. This one does not have onboard memory, just one slot currently with an 8 gig um, module in there. So we're going to double that. Uh, so I've already went ahead and I've removed all the screws on the bottom. There's 11 screws total. They're all the same length, so you don't need to worry about that. And here's the RAM I'm going to put in. It's the Time Tech um, 16 gig stick. It's a DDR4 or PC4 2400. It's good RAM. So first thing I'm going to do is remove the bottom here. I use a little spudger tool here. Got a little seam along the edge here that we have to get into. Be very careful. Don't use a screwdriver. You don't want to leave tool marks. These usually open pretty, pretty easily. In fact, um, well, I'll show you that in a minute. Acer wants you to do a little upgrading on these so they ship you a little kit so you can add a two and a half inch drive, either a solid state two and a half inch drive or just a conventional hard drive for extra storage. This model, the i5, has a 256 gigabyte M2 drive. There, we got that off. Pretty simple. Don't force it, just kind of jiggle it until it pops off real easy. Um, first thing I'm going to do though is right here, I'm going to disconnect the battery from the motherboard. Under, i got to move that little piece of tape. for the moment. I'm going to pull the little plug out here. Usually these come out quite easy before we start doing RAM and stuff. So there. I disconnected that. Um, so now what you the, the book way to do it is to do that and then we're going to hit the power button here a couple times. Pull it in. We want to discharge all the juice out of the capacitors and whatnot. So we don't want to give a jolt of energy to our brand new stick of RAM. So there, we're discharged really good. So the RAM is right here. Guys, got an 8 gig stick right here. Here's your um, SSD, your M.2 drive right here. You could upgrade that as well to a bigger size. No problem. So I'm going to pop that out. There's our 8 gig stick. And we're going to put in our 16. Just like that. We're going to put the battery back up. Now, on these Aspire 5s, in all of them, the Acer gives you the ability, you got a, an area over here where you can add a two and a half inch drive. Like I was saying, in, this, in the Intel versions, they ship you the little kit with a mounting bracket for your hard drive, the little SATA connector that goes onto your motherboard right here underneath the Wi-Fi card. You have to loosen the Wi-Fi card to get to it. I have another video doing one of these, an i3 version. You can go watch that and see how we put the extra drive in there. Not too bad. So we got to hook our battery back up, of course. Don't want to forget that. Just make sure it goes in all the way. Be gentle. And of course, I'm anti-static. My bench tops are all anti-static. Um, so keep that in mind when you're doing this stuff. But I've been doing this for a really long time, guys, and I've never, ever, ever had a problem with batteries, whether they're connected or disconnected. You just got to be careful and use common sense. But if you're a beginner doing it just once, 
Go ahead and unplug the battery, discharge it with the power switch, then put your RAM or your hard drive into it, or whatever else you happen to be doing. So there, we added the RAM, got 16 gigs now. Gonna put the pan back on here. Snaps back in pretty good. And putting these screws back in is pretty straightforward. Just put 11 screws back in and away you go. So yeah, these are for the price. These are nice little laptops. With the, with the M2 drive and the 16 gigs of RAM, it's going to be pretty, pretty snappy. Um, make sure you check out some of my other videos. Like I said, I have another one that I did like this, an i3, that we added the second hard drive to. But you can see it boots up nice and quick there. We'll make sure our RAM is showing here. Oops. Just going to go into settings. Go to system. Go down here and click on about. Oops. And there's our 16 gigabytes of memory. All right, guys. I appreciate watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to build it up. I'm going to keep adding new videos all the time. I appreciate watching. Have a great day.